If it's determined that the area is a permit-required confined space, an entry supervisor must be designated. The entry supervisor must be a qualified person knowledgeable in the work to be completed and in confined space entry procedures. That person is responsible for creating the permit and then making sure all of the required tests and procedures have been met. Only then can employees enter the confined space. Some examples of confined spaces at water plants where permits may be necessary are storage tanks, meter pits, manholes, pipelines, tunnels, sewers, casings, and vaults. The evaluation process is important in determining the appropriate personal protective equipment needed, including hard hats, eye and face protection, gloves, safety shoes, and earplugs. A harness with D-rings that can be attached to a lifeline and mechanical retrieval device should be used by employees when working in a vertical confined space. Proper work tools, including communication devices, must also be used. Barricades, cones, and warning signs should be set up when the confined space is close to an area of public access. The confined space entry permit must be posted at the entrance. A trained and qualified attendant is required to be at the opening throughout the work period. The attendant must be in communication with the employees inside at all times. If there is a problem and a rescue is necessary, the attendant should notify a rescue team. Under no circumstances should the attendant enter the confined space unless he or she has been trained in rescue procedures and another qualified attendant is available to monitor the confined space. 